Hey there everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Welcome to Pilates Yoga Fusion Flow. So you're just gonna need a small space on your mat, bare feet, and we're gonna work a lot on core strength and just keeping your body fluid and in motion today. So let's start with the knees, soft feet or hip width apart, abs are just gently hugging your spine. We're gonna start by reaching right and then left overhead. So we're gonna reach up for four, three, two, now take it over and hold it. Give me a big stretch to that side. Go the other way, big stretch, reach. Come center, let's do it again. Right, left for four, three, two, big stretch to the side, open up the side body, up, other way, good. Like a yawn for your sides. Let's do two more sets just like that. Now just start to move the body slightly into this. So I'm gonna bend my knees, reach over, center, other way. So feel your whole body opening up. One more set just like that. Reach up, four, three, two. Big side stretch, expand and lift. One more time, other way, reach. Beautiful. Now let's just start to keep the knees soft, sweeping the arms out and crossed. So just a nice gentle move. Good. Now as our arms cross, I want you to round your back, round forward, lift tall. Round forward, lift tall. So you kind of drop the body, catch the body. Drop and catch. Good. And as you round that back, think of scooping your abs in tight to your spine. Give me four more. Lift, three, lift, two more. Good, last one. Beautiful, take your hands right behind your hips. Take a nice extension, opening up that spine, back to center. Let's do that one more time, extending back, opening up the back. Beautiful, come back to the center. Nice, now we're gonna start those reaches over with the left side. So we're gonna reach, two, three, four, big stretch and hold. Center, other way, good. So make this round a little bit bigger now. Good, alternate overhead, shift that weight. Reach for the ceiling, big stretch out and over. Good, and center, other way. Nice, we're gonna do two more sets. So we're just slowly starting to warm up the body, open up the body for the work ahead. Other way, good. So it's a nice long workout today. So we're gonna get into things nice and gently. We're not gonna take off too fast, big stretch. Good, last time for that side stretch. Good, now let's come back to the center. Go right into that swing and drop. Swing and drop, good. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see that drop a little bit better. Really round the back, scoop the abs into the spine. Good, just two more. Last one, hands at the hips. Let's open up that spine, extending back. Center. One more time, just extend, open across that heart. Beautiful. Now keeping your feet hip distance apart, I want you to soften your knees just a little bit. Sit back into your hips. So it's a little semi-squat, semi-chair position. Reaching the arms outside of your ears. Just hold, give me a little pulse. So you don't have to go low unless maybe you feel ready to go a little deeper. So here I want you to concentrate on sitting back into your hips. So when we start to really feel the knees on poses like this is when we're going this straight down, right? So all of that pain goes right into the knee joint. Sit back, get it into the glutes and the thighs. Yes. Now from here, we're gonna keep that pulse. We're just gonna swing one arm at a time, back and forth. So one arm swings up by your ear, the other arm swings back, yeah? Good, now from here, you can hang straight on, but if you can, see about giving me just a gentle twist 
from side to side. So as those arms are swinging, we're working that core body, getting into those obliques. Four, three, two, last set. Beautiful, bring both arms up, hold. Maybe sit a tiny bit deeper into that chair pose. Beautiful, now we're gonna open the arms to the sides of the shoulders, extend the legs, come forward with a flat back, kind of making like a letter L shape through your body. So it's like you're looking over the ledge. Abs are in tight, supporting that spine. You can keep your knees gently bent here so that that spine stays nice and neutral. Good, now let's just take the hands to the shins, round the back, supporting the spine, however. And I want you to inhale, look out to the edge of your mat, come back to that nice, long, neutral spine. Now scoop your belly button into your spine, see if you can lift your heels off the floor and open your arms back out in line with your shoulders. So a little balance challenge. If you need to keep your heels on the floor, that's absolutely fine. Release them down, take the hands back to the thighs. Let's slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Hands back behind those hips, extend back and open. Good, come sit. Nice. One more time, nice extension just to counter that forward flexion movement with the spine. Beautiful. Sit back into chair, arms up. Let's see if we can take this a little bit deeper. Give me your pulse. Good, so now we should be warm, at least warmer. So see if you can start to sit back just a little further into that chair. Good, so we're gonna go right into that swing and twist if you're ready for it. So give me your little swing and twist. So keep sitting back, rotating through that torso. Just breathe naturally here, whatever way feels good to you. And sweep, and sweep, that's it. Gently rotating for four, and three, and two. Last set, side to side. Beautiful, hold that chair position. Dropping a tiny bit lower if that feels right for you. Extend your legs, open out to that L shape. Look over that ledge, feel all those muscles that line your spine engaging here. Round forward, hands to the shins. Inhale, lengthen, look out. Good. Arms open out to the side, optional balance challenge. Lift those heels if you can. Release it down, round that back hands back to your shins, slowly stacking one vertebrae at a time. Really nice, good, standing nice and tall. Beautiful, so let's take the feet wider apart. Excuse me, Peanut. Knees and toes slightly turned out. We're gonna come down into a nice grand plie position. So again, let's take a little pulse here. Just taking a few seconds to make sure that we're wide enough with the feet so the knees just naturally open right out over our toes. Good. Now let's take the arms out in line with the shoulders. All I want you to do is just give me a gentle rotation in and out. So we turn in and out, and in and out. Good. I love when we do these calm workouts. Peanut goes crazy. And then when we're going crazy, she takes a nap. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but just ignore her, she's there for distraction. We got four more, turn it in and out, and three, and out, last two. Beautiful, now listen, hold it here. I want you to step your left foot beside your right, so your feet are hip width apart, you're gonna go back to your chair position, arms come over the head, step and open back out to that grand plie. Let's go the other side, chair pose. Grand plie, a little bit quicker. Chair, plie, chair, plie, chair, plie, chair, plie. Good, feel that heart rate climbing a little bit. We got those big muscles in the legs going. Four, three, two, last one. We're gonna hold that plie. 
come back, arms in and out. How you feeling? Got the heart rate spike just a little. Nice. Beautiful. Stay with me here. Good. Now just hold it. We're gonna take a little lunge from side to side. So one leg extends while the other bends. We're gonna take the arms into a little bow and arrow. So the left arm comes across, pull back, reach, pull back. So I want you to feel your upper back helping to bend that elbow to the side. We got a little core work in here. Reach, pull, reach, pull. Nice. Make that lunge as big as you can. Beautiful. Two more. Come back to the center. Rotate the palms. In and out. Good. So really just gently working inside of that shoulder joint here with that rotation. It doesn't seem like a lot, but once we've had those arms working the entire workout, you're gonna really start to feel it. So let's take the lunge other way, side to side. Beautiful. So this should feel gentle, but keep the heat going, right? Let's take the arm across. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Good, I like to call this a sneaky little workout. So it's not like hit cardio, but we keep your heart rate up. Keep those big muscles working. Out. And we're really gonna work a lot on that internal core strength that's so important for us. Last time plie, rotate it. <sighs> really nice. Good. So from here, I want you to go ahead and just turn your knees and toes to me. Bring your hands to your thighs. Sit back into a nice wide little squat pulse. Hands on the thighs. We're gonna work your abs a bit here by just rounding the back, scooping the belly in. Round and release. Round and release. Good, tuck under. Think of this as strong as a crunch here that you might do on the floor. Really scoop the abs in tight. Give me four, three, last two, and one. Let's roll it all the way up. Great job. Now we're just gonna start to sweep the arms side, overhead, other side. So get a nice circle going with that upper body. We give the legs a little breather, right? Good. So nice, big stretch up with the arms. Alternating sides. Beautiful. So keeping your belly button gently hugging your spine, we're gonna start to tap our opposite leg across. So as your arms sweep, you're gonna tap your opposite foot across the body. Yeah? Good. From there, see if you might be able to Sweep that leg across, up and over. Cross, up and over. So as that leg crosses over, I want you to point through the toes and draw your abs in tighter to your spine. So when I really think about drawing my abs in, I can feel that contraction across my waistline as that leg sweeps over. I want you to feel that too, so concentrate on Join in as that leg grows across. Give me four more here. Three, good. So last option, you can hang with that leg sweep here or start to make this a knee balance. So just a little bit bigger by lifting that knee up higher towards your opposite shoulder. Exhale, inhale. Good. So keep that nice big circle over that head and cross and reach and cross and reach. Very good. And up and lift. We got four more right here. Four and lift. Three and lift. Last two. Give me one more. Nice job. Now hold it here. Just pulse the knees. Press your arms back behind you. So I'm going to turn on a three quarter for this next set again. You can stay facing towards me, don't worry. Just pushing back with the triceps. Keep that chest open, just a little bend in the knees. 
Good, now we're gonna alternate tapping one toe back, sweep the arms up and down, up and down. So your spine is neutral. That standing knee has a little bend in it, nothing huge, but just a little bend so you can really stay grounded in that front leg. Good, now you can keep tapping that back foot or maybe try sweeping it up for a little extension. So you're gonna feel those glutes, you're gonna feel that low back just gently kicking in. Good, and of course we wanna think about those abs still, hugging that spine. So really support it. Beautiful, just find that nice gentle rhythm with your breath and your movements. So the great thing is you don't have to think about a lot of steps with this kind of fusion flow. I just want you to get into the rhythm so that you can be in your body and be present, not thinking about where my arm is going, where my leg is going, right? How many more reps we have? Just see if you can get lost in the rhythm today. Take your front leg back, hold the arms up, plant your back toe now. So now I want you to put a little more weight into your front leg. We're gonna sweep the arms back by your hips and hinge forward for two counts. Come up with a flat back. So spine stays neutral and long here. I want you to look straight down at the floor and lift. Uh-huh, and down and lift. You know where this is going, right? So if you're ready, lift the back leg and balance or back foot stays down. What's most important is that your spine stays long here. So see what works for you. Good. You got it. Hinge and lift. Let's do one more like this. Now we're gonna hold that flat back, whether your foot is lifted or on the floor, hold that flat back position. Turn your palms to the ceiling. I want you to think about squeezing your shoulder blades back and together. If your leg is lifted, you're gonna bend your supporting knee slightly as we pulse the arms back like this. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So squeeze the shoulder blades back and together. A lot of work on that standing leg if you're balancing. Good. Reach out long through that back toe. Give me eight, seven, six, five. Last four, three, two. Beautiful. Step it down. Let's just alternate sweeping and tapping. So recover. Whew. Got a little sweat going there. Good. Let me turn this way. So keep going. Reach long. Back. Adding the sweep back if you want. That additional challenge. Good. So remember what we like to say here on Jessica Smith TV is that sometimes sticking with the basic recipe still produces an amazing meal, right? Same thing. You don't always have to add all the spices, all the layers to the workout to make it a great routine. So listen to your body. See what's working for you. Give me four. Nice. Three. Two. And one. Let's take that leg back. Hold. So get your weight in that front leg because we're hinging forward and up. So get your bearings first on this other side before you make the decision as to whether you're ready to lift that back leg and balance. Standing knee stays slightly bent. And if you're ready to go for it, try that full pitch. So if you do lift that back leg, think of making a line from your back toe out through the crown of your head. Keep those arms nice and strong. Good, and again, keep checking in with the alignment of your spine here. Don't let it round. Focus your eyes for balance. Look straight down at the floor and then straight ahead. Yes, down. So I'm not looking at you that much. I'm trying to keep my balance for you. 
one more time. Okay, so make that decision. How are you gonna hold it? Flat back, turn your palms up, squeezing through that back body. If your back leg is lifted, we're gonna pulse through that bottom leg slightly. Here we go. Pulse back, back, back. Good, focus your eyes, find your balancing point. Press, press. Good, we're almost there. Stay with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice work, everybody. Stand it up slow. Let's just shake out the legs. Just give me a nice low kick. How you feel? Good. So we worked all the way down into the feet and the ankles on all that balance. Stand tall. Draw those abs in. Good. So from here, we're just gonna turn this into a little passe lift. So you're gonna tap the inside of your knee, pointing through that toe. Good, arms right in front of your chest. We're gonna add a little bow and arrow pull and twist, twist, twist. Good, so from the side looks like this. Just a nice little gentle twist. You decide how far back you want to go. So just giving the back a little breather, giving the thighs a little breather. Good. Very nice. Give me four, three, two, and one. Take your feet a little wider. Tap the toe and step. Tap the toe and step. So we're crossing over. Pointing strong, good. Abs are in, so I'm barely touching the floor with that toe. I want you to press your arms back. So I call this a little dynamic hundred, right? Ooh, I lost my balance there. It happens to me too. Tap that toe and back and back, good. So our abs are into the spine. You're pressing through your back body, through the back of the triceps. Keep that posture tall. Tap and switch. Tap and switch, very good. Four more here. Three, then we're gonna concentrate a little bit more on that 100 movement with a little twist. So holding it here, I want you to keep pressing the arms back. Keep tapping that toe, abs in. Now notice how crossed my leg is. I want you to really feel your inner thighs, but I want you to use your abs to keep your hips square to me here. Press back, press back. Good, now listen. Take your leg up and hold it. Double time with those arms we push, 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 push. So typically our standing 100, the leg is in front of the hip. I want that crossover, but I want you to work your abs to keep your hips square to me. Press, back with those arms, double time, back, back back. So my arms are straight, they're not bent. Press those palms to the wall behind you. Lift up through the crown of your head for four and three and two. Let's tap side to side. Step and tap. Just recover. Woo, felt that standing leg too, right? So just get back into the flow. Very good. So again, these are gentle moves, but a nice challenge for your core strength, your whole body actually, but a nice emphasis on that core. Two more here. Now let's take that tap across and tap and tap. That's it, press back. So get that crossover with the leg. Feel those inner thighs really squeeze. And again, think about using your abdominals to keep your hips square towards the front, yeah? Good, couple more, then we'll hold in four, three, two, take that leg up, double time the arms, pump, pump, pump. So turn that heel slightly to the ceiling. If you need to tap the floor with that toe, you can at any time. Press back, press back, that's it. Nice job, stay with me, four, three, two, and one, beautiful, step side to side. Ah, how you doing, you good? Good, so just give me a little side to side, transitioning to a little bit more yoga inspired movement. 
So I want you to come back just to that gentle side to side lunge. So we want to take our feet a little bit wider this time. Good. So we're going to do some twists on some warrior movements, some triangle positions. Just see what works best for your body. So I want you to take your arms out in line with your shoulders. Press your shoulders down to your hips. So really turn on those core muscles, not only in your abs, but in your back too. Now I want you to hold, give me a little pulse. So again, watch this knee. We don't want it rolling in or out. We want it pointing straight out over our toes. You can also take your focus out over that front leg if that feels good to you. Now, check in with your back toes. We want the back toes to be facing forward. You're almost pressing slightly out through that heel. Yes, good. So we're in a nice little warrior two variation. Give me eight more pulses, eight, seven, six, five, very good. This is four, three, two. Now hold that warrior, drop the hips. Keep pressing down, but lifting up the crown of the head at the same time. We're gonna take your front arm, bend the elbow, taking the, the forearm to your thigh, press down against it so you feel those obliques engage. Take your top arm up by your ear. If you can, gaze up to the ceiling, roll that top shoulder back. If that bothers your neck, you can look straight ahead or even at the floor. Good, now from here, we're gonna transition from this side angle stretch into revolved warrior. Legs stay the same, reach the arms up. So back arm comes to your back leg, top arm to the ceiling. Let's take it a little bit quicker. Side angle for two, revolved warrior. Side angle, inhale, back. Exhale, out and over. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, out and over. Inhale, stretch. Keep reaching, one side contracts, the other side expands and opens. Two more, please. Good. Last one here. Beautiful. Hold it. Now push down through your front heel. Stretch that leg out, get a little more length. Beautiful. Come back to the center. Turn out those knees and toes. Let's lunge the other way. Good, so we're gonna take that all on the other side. Let's get the arms and core working strong from here. Arms out, push down. Good, so feel that core connection. Shoulders cap the core here. We're drawing in and up, but pressing down at the same time. Four, three, two. We're gonna hold that warrior two pulse. So adjust the feet. You may need to rotate this left heel forward. You might need to turn your right toes forward, press out through that back heel. So make those little adjustments so that you're in that nice, strong warrior two variation. Good. Keep pressing down, reach out long through the fingers. Focus is where it can be for you. Beautiful. So let's hold the legs. Side angle stretch, bend that front elbow, forearm to thigh. So find your degree of stretch in this side angle pose. Reverse it, revolved warrior. Slide that back arm down your thigh, lengthen and open. Let's take it on that two count, here we go. Inhale, exhale, out and over, stretch and open, you got it. Out and over, and stretch. Gorgeous, out and over. Take it as big as you can. Out and over, big stretch. So remember, use the side body here. One side contracts while the other opens and stretches. Two more. One more. So we're gonna hold that revolved warrior. Now press down through the entire front foot, pull up through the top of the thigh, extend that leg. Slowly come back to standing, turn both toes forward. Now bring your feet in just a little bit closer. Give me that little side to side, so not real big. Just let your arms 
start to sweep. So get a little movement going. Very gentle though. Are you doing okay? You still with me? Good. So from here, we're gonna work a little bit more of the back, but continue to work the sides of the wings. So both toes are facing forward. Pull up through the tops of the thighs. Give me a flat back forward, arms open, and line with your shoulders. Now if you need to, in order to keep your back flat, give me a little softness in your knee. Now we're gonna rotate through the torso, turn your entire body to the right side wall. Your arms are just gonna follow you with that twist. Come back to the center, flat back, look at the floor. Rotate, windmill to the other side. So I'm thinking about turning my chest, which in turn opens my arms. Don't think about the arms, think about the body. Flat back center, little bit quicker. Two counts to the right, open. Two flat back center. Two, other side, rotate and center. Good, draw the abs in tighter. Give me a little exhale as you turn. Good. And twist. And center, you got it. Make that come from the inside out, that rotation. One more to both sides, please. Last one here. Rotate, flat back. Hands to your thighs, roll up slowly. Beautiful. Turn both toes to the right side for me. Bring your arms together, fingertips pointed, pull up the tops of your thighs, make sure you're not locking out your knees. So we're gonna open out to the side. Reach down, look up, come center. Bring your hands back together. Inhale, exhale, pull. So I want you to feel the top side of your body bringing you back to standing, yeah? Inhale and exhale, you got it. Inhale, open, pull up. Four more, reach out and up. So I'm just seeing if maybe I can go a few centimeters further down my leg each time. You see what works. Last two, open. And one more. Now I want you to open and hold. So open out, hold it. Soften the knees just a smidge. We're gonna keep that top arm straight. We're gonna stand up into the arm nice and quick. We come up, slide down. Up, slide down. Lift, pull up through that side. Exhale, inhale. Good, see if you can look up at your hand as you slide down. Four more, three, Last two, and one, hold. Turn both knees and toes forward. We're gonna try that flat back windmill again. Open out, pull those abs in tight. Let's start to the left, two counts. Rotate, flat back, other way. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center, lengthen the spine. Exhale, rotate, reach. Flat back, lengthen through the crown of your head, and twist. Beautiful. So again, use the abdominals to turn the torso. Arms are just a side effect of that twist. A nice side effect. Two more. Open out. Tells us where we went, right? Kind of a nice measure of that twist. Hands on your thighs. Round up slow. So let's turn our toes the other way to open out into that windmill. Bring your hands together, pull up the tops of your thighs. Open for two, pull up. Good, and reach, and squeeze. Good, so I'm really thinking about that side of my body, pulling me back up. Inhale, expand your energy. Exhale, contract, get recentered. Inhale, contract and squeeze. Good, can you feel it? Nice. Two more, nice and big. One more. Okay, this one we're gonna open and hold. Bend those knees just a smidge. Stand up to that top arm, here we go. Up and reach, up and reach. 
down all the way up into that arm. Good. Exhale. Inhale. You got it. Last three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's come down with the arm. Take your feet hip distance apart. Go ahead and walk all the way to the front of your mat if you would. I'll stand right next to Peanut. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath in, stretch your arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, flat back. Round the spine, bend your knees, take your hands to the floor. So you might have to really get a nice bend in your knees to get your hands flat. I want you to step your front leg back behind you. Give me a nice low lunge. Now my back leg is straight. I want you to walk your hands to either side of that front leg. You can prop up onto your fingertips here. Abs are in nice and tight. Shift your weight into that front leg. We're gonna work deeper into the thighs and your abs. I want you to take your back foot. You're gonna tap it in to the front leg. Tap come back down to your lunge. Yes or no? Can we try it? Let's go. Eight, drop back. Seven, use your abdominals to pull that foot up in to your front leg. Four, three, two. Give me one more. Take it back, back leg is straight. Walk your hands to your top of your thigh. Lift that chest. Good, arms up by your ears. Now push your energy out strong through that back leg. Make sure you feel really centered here in this nice crescent lunge. So we're gonna take a little twist. I want you to open away from your back leg. Turn away, come back center, go the other way. So my hips are square to the front. Exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale, four more, four. So you're gonna reach your fingertips from the front of the room to the back of the room, but your hips are square forward, back leg straight and strong, press out through your back heel. One more, beautiful. Drop a little deeper, good. Now all you're gonna do is step up onto that front leg, bring that back leg in so your feet are hip width apart. Breathe, inhale, big stretch. We gotta go get the other side. Flat back. Nice. Now again, bend your knees as much as you need to. Bring your hands to the floor. Take the other foot back into that low lunge. Position your hands on either side of your front foot. Drop your hips as low to the floor as you can go. Scoop that belly button into your spine. Get ready. We're gonna tap that back toe in and back, let's go. It's eight, tap, seven, tap, six. Good, use those abdominals to tap in. It's four, three, aha, uh -huh, two, and one, hold it. Sink a little deeper if you can. Walk up onto the top of the thigh with those hands. Shoulders back, stay lifted through those abdominals, arms up. Twist away from the leg, center, other way, exhale. Good, so everything from the hips down stays where it was. It's the upper body that does that nice big rotation. Lengthen through the arms, exhale and inhale, exhale. Inhale, give me one more to both sides. Good, last one. Exhale, and inhale. Drop a little lower. Are you ready to stand up on that front leg? Woo, bring your feet hip width apart. Just give me a little swing. Back and lift. You did it, guys. You good? You still with me? I hope so. You're doing great. So let's give the thighs a little break. We're gonna lift one knee, sweep. One knee and sweep. Just breathe, recover. Nice. Exhale, inhale. Good, so as that knee comes up, use your abs. Keep them working. 
belly button to that spine. Gorgeous. Four more. Three. Two, last one. You got it. Great job. So from here, let your arms come down. We're gonna take a little split stance. I want you to take your right foot slightly in front. Back heel is lifted. I'm just giving you that three quarter angle because it's easier to see. Bend your knees, get grounded. Give me a flat back hinge. So I'm hinging forward about 45 degrees here. Both arms are gonna reach forward. You need me a little bow and arrow pull with that front elbow looks like this. You pull and twist, pull and twist. Exhale, inhale. So use your abdominals here. Rotate, exhale and inhale. Good. Just four more right here and four, three, two, and one. Now reach both arms up. I want you to bring your body up, give that back a little breather. You're gonna take this back knee Lift it up, sweep your arms down and across center. Exhale, uh, inhale when you come back. So we're taking that oppositional rotation now. Abs in, good. If you wanna make that leg a little bigger, keep it bent, but swing it a little higher. Good, swing, and up, swing. Up. We're gonna do four more. Last two. One more. Come center, hinge forward, flat back again. We're gonna try that set one more time. So here, or option two, you're gonna give me a little shift, lift the back leg. It's harder than it looks. And reach. So if the back leg Makes you lose your rotation. Keep the foot on the floor, okay? Front knee stays bent. Pulling through the back and the sides of the waist. Good. Just four more. Then we're gonna go into that attitude sweep across. Two more. Arms. Overhead, stand tall, let's sweep, cross, lift. So come back to that nice solid split stance. Each time in the middle, recover. Exhale, inhale, draw your abs in tight on that twist across, looking good. Two more. Beautiful. Hold. Good. Just take a second. We're gonna take it around to the other side. I'm just turning, you don't have to turn. Switch legs. Get grounded. Arms in front of the chest. Hinge forward, so this was just our basic rotation. Pull. Pull. So you're gonna look back over your shoulder as you pull and twist. Inhaling and inhaling. Abs drawn in to support that spine at all times. Good, keep the length in your spine, make sure you're not rounding at all. We're gonna do a couple more, then we'll set up that attitude sweep. Last two, one more. Arms overhead, come up with that flat back. So we're gonna sweep, cross, center. So you remember you can start small with that leg. If you feel more comfortable, take it to that bigger attitude across. Go for that balance. Abs in. Nice. Exhale, inhale. A couple more. Then we have that second set coming up. Last two, beautiful. Hinge forward, flat back. So remember, hanging here or trying 
that little lift off. And you're probably gonna notice one side might be a little more challenging than the other. You know that's normal. So work with what you got. Stay safe and with great form and control. That's all we care about. Doesn't matter what that back leg does. Last two, one more. Flat back up, attitude, sweep, cross, good. So this is our last standing exercise. We're gonna work our way down towards the floor next. Good, exhale, inhale. Remember, come back to that nice tall spine and split stance. Last four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, wherever you are, come towards the back of your mat. Give yourself a little room to travel. I see peanuts finally passed out. Take a deep breath, bring your feet together. Bring your hands together. Just crossing the fingers. I want you to keep your first two fingers together. Reach the arms over your head. Get as tall as you can, but stay grounded through your feet. Extend back. So I'm not gonna go way back, but I want you to just extend as far back as you can. Come center, open those arms out to the sides, round forward. So my feet are gonna stay together. I'm gonna bend my knees as much as I need to to get my hands flat. And I want you to walk yourself out to a plank position. Feet are still together, hands shoulder width apart. Squeeze your inner thighs, press down and away from the floor. Good, so with the feet together, we're gonna bend the knees, do a little squat back, little narrow squat, extend out. Narrow squat, extend out. Back, extend. Now, if you need some modification for this floor plank work, you've seen these here on our channel. You can do it on your couch, you can place your hands on a chair, you could even do this from the wall. If you need some help with that, check out our modification for push-ups. We just posted a video about that not too long ago. Hold that narrow plank position, soften your knees, walk your hands back. Feet are still together, squeeze your inner thighs, draw your abs in, roll up slowly. Hands come back together. Inhale, extend back. <sighs> Open it out, flat back. Round your spine. We're gonna try that one more time, walk back. Abs tight, squeeze through the inner thighs. Sit back, extend. Sit back, extend, that's it. Good. Nice, so keep a nice long line through your heels, through your head, especially as you extend back out. One more, hold. Now listen, you're gonna drop your back knee, just your back knee, to the floor. I want you to pivot, turning your front heels to the floor so your toes face me. Open up your top arm. Good, now check in with your bottom hand. If it's drifted in front of you, bring it right underneath your shoulder because I want you to feel the side engagement of those obliques. Now you can hang right here, or if you feel solid enough, point that top foot. We're gonna lift that leg up and down for eight, tap, seven, Six, five, reach long through the toe. Four, three, two. Now listen, hold the toe down, take the top arm underneath to the back, open up. Exhale, down and twist. Keep your hips towards me, that rotation happens in the upper half. Good, exhale. Open out, so you're threading the needle, reaching under and through, make sure you don't have a lot of weight on that bottom knee. Keep supporting through the sides of your waist. Two more. Yes, last one. Beautiful, now hold it. See if you can lift that top leg up. Flex your foot. Bring this hand back to the floor. 
leg is behind you. Square up your hips. Take your opposite arm, reach it out. Find your center, hold. Come back down, bend the knees. Good, take your knees hip distance apart. Tuck both toes under. I want you to give me a nice cat-cow stretch. So we're gonna open up the chest, arch into cow, and round into cat. Arch into cow, round into cat. Good, just a nice little stretch for the spine. Don't worry, we're gonna go get that other side in a moment. Now listen, from here you can stay with this, or from cow, we're gonna press back to a modified downward facing dog. Inhale, softly bring the knees to the floor. Use your abdominals. Exhale, press back. Open out, breathe. Two more. Press back. Last one. Good, now if you can, join us in downward facing dog if you were holding that cat cow. Walk your hands back to your feet. Go ahead and just walk your feet back together so the inside the edges of your feet are touching again. We're gonna roll up slow. Bring your hands back together. Extend and arch. So we're gonna go out. We're gonna go get the other side. I'm just gonna face the other way. Okay, so flat back. Round out. Narrow plank position. Walk it out. Ready? Keep those inner thighs squeezing. Squat back. Push forward, squat back, push forward. Think of that nice long line from your heels through your head. Squeeze, good. Two more. Last one. Hold softly. Back knee comes to the floor. We're gonna pivot through that top foot, opening out through that side. Check in with your bottom hand. Make sure it's where you need to be for support. Point the top leg, lift and lower. So we have eight, tap, seven, good, six, five. Don't sink into your wrist, push away from the floor. Two more. Keep the toes line on the floor, thread that needle. Exhale. Inhale, thread, all the way through, exhale, and inhale, very good. Use those obliques here. Beautiful, stay out of your wrist. One more. Hold it, lift that leg, flex your foot, square your hips and shoulders back to the floor, reaching the opposite arm out. Find your balance, find your center. Beautiful, taking the knees hip distance apart, cat cow, tuck both toes under, inhale, drop the belly, exhale, round, inhale, Exhale, give me two more like this, and then again, you have the option to stay here or to start to move into that downward facing dog modified. Inhale, exhale, push back. So when we come down, that's where the work happens through those abs, right? We don't want to slam the knees to the floor. So use your abdominals to control that landing. Now let's just go ahead and meet back on all fours. Point your toes, sit your hips back, walk your hands out. Just take a breath. Woo, we have been moving since we started, so just take a breather for a second. Keep your hips and heels where they are and just walk both hands over to one side. Open up the side of your torso. We're not quite done yet, but that doesn't mean we can't take a little breath and recoup. Other side. Beautiful, from here, I want you to come to a seated position. We're gonna bend the knees in front of us, 
feet are gonna start flat on the floor. So I really just want you to lift up as tall as you can through the crown of your head. Brace your abs in nice and tight, hinge back. So we want the upper body to kind of look like a V between your knees and your shoulders. If you have that V, you can let go from here or level up by pointing the toes, lifting the legs up. For my advanced folks, feel free to straighten those legs into a full V sit. So see what's working for you. Make sure you're holding with the abdominals and not sinking into your back. So from here, we're gonna take the arms up by the ears. Inhale, sit up a little taller. Exhale, reach away. Take your low back towards the floor. Reach the legs a little further. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Up, two, and down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. Control, that's what we're going for. Good. Hold it at the top for me. Place your feet on the floor. Beautiful. We're going to slowly roll back onto the back. Tuck your tailbone, scoop your abs in. Bring your legs up to 90 degrees, pointing through those toes. Bring your hands behind your head. I want you to curl up your upper back off the floor for two counts. We're gonna come in for two. Up, two, and down. Two, exhale. Now listen, you're gonna bend the knees in. Extend your front leg out parallel to the floor as you lower. Come in, other leg, parallel. Exhale, inhale, slow and controlled, go deep into those abdominals. Uh-huh, four more. Three, keep your pelvis parallel to the floor, two, don't pull on your head, elbows are open. Good, now hold it at the top with me, stay here. We're gonna do a little double bicycle pump. Looks like this, we're gonna pulse two and switch. So I want you to bring that knee a little closer across on that second pulse. One, two, and switch. That's it. Switch. Good and switch. Open your elbows, make sure you're not yanking on your head here. Keep your neck relaxed. Give me a little smile if you're feeling it. Last four, three, two, one more. Come to the center, hug your knees to your chest. Just take your feet hip distance apart on the floor. I want you to just reach your arms out by your sides with your palms up. Lift the hips up for two counts, down for two. So a little break for the abs. Open up through your low back. Knees are pointing straight out over our toes. Good, push down, really squeeze the glutes. Nice guys, we're almost done, you're doing great. Two more, straight up and down. Lift, good, last one. Up. Now let's hold it at the top, see if we can't lift a little bit higher. And I want you to maybe, if you want, walk your hands together, come up onto your shoulders. So we're gonna push the arms firmly into the floor for more stability. With your abs in tight, you can either hold this position or start to march one leg at a time, slowly up and down. So you're gonna lift your knee towards your chest and then lightly to the floor. So don't slam your foot back into the floor. Control it on the way down and on the way up. Good, keep those hips nice and high. Use that core control to control your march. Two more. Last one. Release your hands, lift your hips a little higher. Slowly roll down to the floor. 
Come back to that tabletop position, knees above your hips, hands above your head. We're gonna try that one last time. So we're gonna come up for two. Extend your front leg out. Exhale up for two. Back leg out. And in. And out. Well, we ran out of music, which means that after this, we're done. How about that? Up for two. And out for two. Exhale. Inhale. Try to really lift up. Make sure you're not pulling on your head. And extend. Good. And out. Two more. Good. Last one. Yes, we got to go get those bicycles again. Ready? Double pulse across. And one, two. Switch. One, two. That's it. One, two. Really twist. Elbows are open. Big smile on your face if you're feeling those abs. Good. And twist, 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 twist. That's it. Really reach across. Scoop that belly button in. Make sure you're also engaging through that pelvic floor. That's going to help you get deeper into those abs. Lift up through those pelvic floor muscles. And last time, side to side. Woo. Hug your knees in quickly. Take your feet hip width apart. Let's just go ahead right into that full variation with the march. So hands clasped together or you can keep them by your sides if that's more comfortable. Lift the hips and control that march in and step. In and step. So we shouldn't hear your foot coming back to the floor, right? Want lots of control and set it down and control and set it down, that's it. And lift, and lower, and lift, and lower a little higher through the hips if you can. Almost done, guys. In, and down, last two, up, and down, one more, up, and down, release your hands, hips a little higher, slowly roll through your spine. Beautiful. So let's hug one knee into the chest, extend your opposite leg to the floor, taking a nice gentle twist across your body towards the ground. Look away from that leg. Just twist to your own degree, whatever feels good for your back. Come back to the center. Switch sides, hug the other knee in, extend that other leg to the floor. Slowly twist across. Opening up, turning away from that leg. Beautiful. Come back to the center. Hug both knees into your chest. Just round everything in. Give yourself a big, tight hug. And then release it. Let's open everything into the floor. Ah, you just did a lot of work, a lot of effort. So let's take a nice little reward here. And if you would, close your eyes with me. Just relax your body into the floor so feel all the heat that you've built maybe the sweat the blood pulsing through your muscles which should feel worked but not exhausted and just relax take some nice deep breaths we've been moving a lot we've been working a lot so just release let everything go into the floor Imagine you were like an egg in an eggshell. You just cracked that egg, and now you're spreading out all over the floor. Relax your eyes and your eyebrows. Sometimes that's the hardest area of our body to relax, is our mind the energy behind our eyes, around our eyes, our mouth, our jaws. There's always something going on there, right? See if you can just let it go, at least just for a few seconds. And you can stay here if you'd like for much longer, or if you're ready, let your eyes slowly open back up. And let's just bend the knees, 
Turn over onto one side and slowly make your way back up to seated. Peanut loves her Savasta time. So I just wanted to close by saying thank you everybody for spending your time and energy with us today. We hope you enjoyed this Pilates Yoga Fusion workout. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Remember to like and share your favorite videos. And Peanut and I will see you for another workout soon. Take care, everybody. Can you say goodbye? You're too zen. Okay.